There are just two things you need to do to make good career decisions. Firstly, understand yourself. So there are three things you can do to discover yourself better. First, ask yourself, what are your talents? What are the things you're good at doing? What are your strengths? Now, I can tell you being a psychologist for the last 25 years, everybody has strengths. Huh? There's no such thing as a human being that is good at nothing. So think back to all of the things you've been doing in school, the different subjects you're taking, the different student activities, different sports, art, leadership. You know, I'm sure you can think of a few things that you're really good at doing. So that's first, understand your strengths. Number two, ask yourself, what are your interests? What do you enjoy doing? What are your passions? What do you do so much so that you enjoy yourself that you don't even keep track of time, right? So second thing to understand yourself better, identify your passions and your interests. The third, ask yourself, what do you want in your life? So this is about goals in life. This is about what's going to bring you happiness. What's going to, you know, give your life a sense of fulfillment? Now, different people will have different answers to this question and there's no one right answer. Some people may want money, some people want fame, some people want status, some people want to be influential, some people want to change the world, some people want to travel the world. There are different things that different people want. And the key is not to copy anybody. It's about asking yourself, being honest with yourself. What do you really want? What really makes me happy and is going to give my life that sense of meaning and purpose? So three things that will help you understand yourself better so that you can make career decisions. Knowing your strengths, knowing your interests, and knowing your life goals. So that's the first part, discover yourself, understand yourself. The second part of good career decision making is understanding the world of work. So understanding what's out there. What are the options that are out there? You have two tips I want to share here. Tip number one is really take time to explore the options that are out there. I mean, there are so many jobs. There are hundreds and thousands of new jobs that have been born after I started working. You know, in fact, every year they estimate there are 100 new professions that exist because of the fourth industrial revolution, because of technology, because the world is changing. So you're being born in an age where you're blessed with so many different options. And so my advice to you is don't rush, you know, take time to shop around, get a sense of what's out there through the internet, through websites, through talking to friends. You can discover the many, many different options that are out there and I'm very sure you'll find a few things that will be matched to your interests, your talents, your life goals. Now the last point, the second tip about understanding the world of work is Take time to do a deep dive. So at the stage where you're able to shortlist perhaps three or four professions or careers that you're interested in, then take time to really dive deep, which means do research so that you really understand what these careers entail. Talk to people who are working in these careers. You know, ask them about what they do every day, what are the challenges, what is the salary like, you know, uh, what are the environments they're working in like, what is the good, the bad, you know, the pros, the cons, so that when you make a career decision, you're going in with your eyes open. I mean, the worst thing to do is make career decisions based on false information. You know, you watch a TV show, a movie, talk to a friend and base your whole life decision on that. You know, so be careful. Take time to do research, read, you know, if you're interested in, in an area, you know, go and buy the textbooks in, in, in a bookshop so that you, you get a, a real sense of what that particular feel or discipline or career will involve, all right? So two tips when it comes to understanding the world of work, you know, shop widely, get to know what's out there, and then once you shortlist, deep dive so that you really get a, a honest, true sense of what that career will involve, all right? So two things to summarize. Number one, know yourself. What are your talents, your interests, your life goals? And number two, know the world of work. What are the options that are out there? And then when you match the two together, I'm very sure you're going to find a career that will fit your talents, interests, life goals, and will give you a sense of real happiness and fulfillment. And that's the goal of career guidance. It's not to find you know, necessarily the thing that will pay the most. It's about finding the thing that will give you the most happiness and joy. And 
You know, I'm speaking not just as an educator, but as a father myself. You know, I've got two children and I can tell you my deepest wish for them is that in the long term, they find something, they find a career, a pathway, a discipline in university that they really love, that will bring them a lot of joy and excitement and fulfillment. And you know, I'm sure they will earn enough money because when you choose something that you're passionate about, something that really fits your interests and your strengths, you know, making money is not an issue. Uh, it's about finding that sense of happiness. Uh, a survey done about four or five years ago showed that 60 percent of working adults in the world are unhappy with their job. They hate their job. They wish they could change job. And, and look, you know, that's very unfortunate and that's something we don't want for you. So that's why, you know, we are giving you this video to help you make good career decisions so you end up in a career and a pathway that, that really gives you joy and satisfaction. At Help University, our mission and our purpose is this, to help people find success in life and live a life of significance. And really, that's the goal of university. You know, university is not just to prepare you to be a good professional and a working adult. You know, that's part of it. We will prepare you to be successful in your career, find a job. But more than that, it's about helping prepare you to live a full and happy life. And that includes, you know, the relationships you have, having positive relationships. It, it includes having health, your physical health, your mental health. It includes how you connect to the greater society, you know, and, and ensuring that you meet your life goals so that you are living a life of significance and making a difference, not just to yourself, but to your family, to your community, to your city, country, to your world. Right? So I end by wishing you all the best. I hope that you will find this sense of happiness, success and significance. Thank you very much.